The abelian sandpile model, also known as the Bakhtang Wiesenfeld model, was the first discovered example of a dynamical system displaying self organized criticality. It was introduced by Per Bak Chow Tang and Kurt Wiesenfeld in a 1987 paper. The model is a cellular automaton. In its original formulation, each site on a finite grid has an associated value that corresponds to the slope of the pile. This slope builds up as grains of sand are randomly placed onto the pile, until the slope exceeds a specific threshold value at which time that site collapses transferring sand into the adjacent sites, increasing their slope. Back tang and Wiesenfeld considered process of successive random placement of sand grains on the grid. Each such placement of sand at a particular site may have no effect, or it may cause a cascading reaction that will affect many sites. The grains of sand are often more conveniently referred to as chips. The model has since been studied on the infinite lattice, on other lattices, and on arbitrary graphs. Definition the iteration rules for the model on the square lattice can be defined as follows. Begin with some non-negative configuration which is finite, in the sense that, any site with is unstable and can topple, sending one of its chips to each of its four neighbors. The process is guaranteed to terminate given that the initial configuration was finite. Moreover, although there will often be many possible choices for the order in which to topple vertices, the final configuration does not depend on the chosen order. This is one sense in which the sand pile is abelian. The number of times each vertex topples in this process is also independent of the choice of toppling order. On an arbitrary and directed graph, a special vertex called a sink is specified that is not allowed to topple. In the presence of a sink, the term chip configuration refers to a chip counting vector indexed by the non-sink vertices. The rules are that any non-sync vertex with is unstable, toppling again sends one of its chips to each of its neighbors, and for each, multiple toppling operations can be efficiently encoded by using the Laplacian matrix. Deleting the row and column of corresponding with the sync yields the reduced Laplacian. If is a non-negative integral vector indexed by the non-sync vertices, then starting with a configuration and toppling each vertex a total of times yields the configuration. This and other models that involve a toppling operation are sometimes referred to as chip firing models or chip firing games. Sandpile group. Given a configuration, toppling unstable non-sync vertices on a finite connected graph until no unstable non-sync vertex remains leads to a unique stable configuration, which is called the stabilization of. The set of stable configurations forms a commutative monoid under the operation. The minimal ideal of this monoid is a group of recurrent configurations called the sandpile group. A stable configuration is recurrent if it can be gotten from any other configuration by adding chips and stabilizing. The sandpile group is isomorphic to the group of equivalence classes of configurations gotten by reducing modulo the toppling operation, which can be written where is the number of vertices and is the integer row span of. The order of the sandpile group is the determinant of which by the matrix tree theorem is the number of spanning trees of the graph. Self-organized criticality. The original interest behind the model stemmed from the fact that it is attracted to its critical state, at which point the correlation length of the system and the correlation time of the system go to infinity, without any fine-tuning of a system parameter. This contrasts with earlier examples of critical phenomena, such as the phase transitions between solid and liquid, or liquid and gas where the critical point can only be reached by precise tuning. Hence, in the sandpile model we can say that the criticality is self-organized. Once the sandpile model reaches its critical state there is no correlation between the system's response to a perturbation and the details of a perturbation. Generally this means that dropping another grain of sand onto the pile may cause nothing to happen, or it may cause the entire pile to collapse in a massive slide. 
The model also displays one F noise, a feature common to many complex systems in nature. This model only displays critical behavior in two or more dimensions. The sand pile model can be expressed in 1D, however, instead of evolving to its critical state, the 1D sand pile model instead reaches a minimally stable state where every lattice site goes toward the critical slope. For two dimensions, the associated conformal field theory is suggested to be symplectic fermions with central charge C equals minus 2. Generalization to directed graphs the sand pile model can be generalized to arbitrary directed multigraphs. The rules are that any vertex with is unstable, toppling against ends chips to each of its neighbors, one along each outgoing edge, and for each, where is the number of edges from two. In this case the Laplacian matrix is not symmetric. If we specify a sink such that there is a path from every other vertex to, then the stabilization operation on finite graphs is well defined and the sand pile group can be written as before. The order of the sand pile group is again the determinant if, which by the general version of the matrix tree theorem is the number of oriented spanning trees rooted at the sink. Least action principle. The stabilization of chip configurations obeys a form of least action principle. Each vertex topples no more than necessary in the course of the stabilization. Even if toppling stable vertices is allowed, stabilization via the toppling of exclusively unstable vertices is always at least as efficient. More precisely, if is a vector such that is the number of times the vertex topples during the stabilization of a chip configuration, and is an integral vector such that is stable, then for all vertices, 